Are you wondering how to tell if your tutor is good or not? Hi, my name is Neha Gupta, and I'm owner of Elite Private Tutors and the author of the best-selling book, The Four-Year Plan. I've worked with over thousands of students, helping them get into the colleges right for them, and also helping them with any subject that they need help with. So, one of the best ways to figure out if your tutor is good or not is to see the method that they use. So, for example, I have seen the entire gamut of tutors. We've seen tutors where they just sit and they watch your child do the work. We've seen tutors where you go to an actual tutoring center and there's just one teacher sitting at the front and your students are just working problems, uh, kind of like a homework club. We've seen tutors where um, they actually don't know the material and they spend half the time that you've paid to learn what it is that they're trying to teach your child. And then there's kind of a shift that happens on the methods of good tutors. You'll see really good tutors will interact with your child. They'll come up with unique ways to help them understand the material, and they'll be creative in their learning process. If there's something they don't know, they'll figure it out really fast through YouTube or Google, and they'll do it in a few minutes. And if they really don't know, they'll tell your child, hey, this section I don't know, let's move on to the next. They're really efficient with their time, and they cut your students' study time by practically half. They also assign things so that your student knows exactly what they need to do and how to be accountable for their work. Good tutors are there to inspire. They mentor your child and they really take them to the next level. So if you want to get a sense of the difference between good and bad tutors, you might want to be around during that first session to get a sense. And sometimes not even the first session, sometimes the second or third, because the student's still getting used to your child and it takes a little time. Overall, you should also feel comfortable telling the tutor or telling the agency, hey, these are a few things I'd like you to do instead of this. Because sometimes a tutor just needs a little bit of tweaking to be perfect and a perfect fit for your kid. So I hope these methods help to kind of show you the range of crappy tutor to really good tutor uh, in the whole tutoring scale. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below and definitely subscribe to our channel for free tips. Thanks so much.